Cherry has just revealed what is a wagon shooting brake. It's like a coupe-like wagon, which I've got to say actually looks absolutely incredible. Apparently, this year you can buy this vehicle. It has a solid-state battery with 1,500 kilometers of range at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Sounds pretty wild, but um, to be honest, I think it could happen. And there's a reason for that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Recently, Cherry's Exceed brand announced that it will have, I'll be the first to equip its vehicles, its electric vehicles, not electric motorbikes, with solid state batteries. This new vehicle will be called the um, Li Feng. Li Feng, I think that's how you pronounce it. Range will be uh, 1,500 kilometers at minus 30 degrees Celsius. So what does that mean range will be at normal temperatures, say 15 to 20 degrees Celsius? You know, I've got no idea, but I'm going to assume it'd be more than that. The battery, it's coming from Cherry's Rhino S solid state battery. Now, I, I don't believe this is true, what I'm about to tell you, but... Apparently, this battery has an energy density of 600 watt-hours per kilogram. Now, I think maybe that's theoretical of what they could produce, but I don't think it's very likely that that battery will be in this car. I think the energy density of the solid-state battery that will be in this car will be closer to 350 to 400 watt hours per kilogram. Anyhow, what are the electrolytes in this battery? Well, fortunately, we do know some information about it. Polymer oxide, so polymer oxide and sulfide are the three main different electrolytes that you can get in, in solid state batteries, but this one is oxide. So range is massive, 1500 kilometers. What sort of size battery would you need to get that kind of range with that kind of energy density? I'm going to guess it's probably going to have a battery of about 100 kilowatt hours. So it won't be a small battery. But it also won't be massive like the ridiculously large battery we've seen in, for example, Neo's, Neo's EV, which is, what, 150 kilowatt hours in order to get 1,000 kilometers of range. This is a different story. Um, Cherry said this, unbeatable performance in freezing temperatures. Well, that would be fair to say. The company claims the batteries can perform reliably at minus 30 degrees Celsius. So that's amazing. The architecture of this EV is not particularly groundbreaking, though. It's just an ordinary old 800-volt architecture. When I say that, I mean, obviously, some of the new architectures are 1,000 volts or even higher than that. But still, it does have an electric motor that spins at an incredibly fast pace of 30,000 RPM. 30,000. Zero to 100 will be less than three seconds. Top speed, 260 kilometers an hour. And did I mention this thing looks incredibly good? Yeah, damn, looks amazing. So Cherry revealed its first model, um, the Exceed ES8 shooting brake, will be Exceed's first model to have a solid state battery. And they actually mentioned this in December of 2025, but within the last couple of days, they've reported that this battery is uh, now going to be in this car, going to provide 1,500 kilometers of range, and it's coming this year. So yeah. Targeted operation 2026. They said the first batch of vehicles will be deployed in ride hailing and rental markets to gather additional operational performance data. So it sounds like it won't be sold to individuals this year unless they're ride hailing businesses. And I'm going to guess that it won't be sold to the mass market, mainstream market until 2027. Industry experts generally believe that 2026 to 2027 will be the crucial period, says carnewschina.com, for determining whether solid-state batteries can be successfully integrated into vehicles. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Guys, to me, this is almost my dream car. This thing's phenomenal. I mean, not only does it look amazing, it's got amazing specs. I I think that five years from now, 
we'll be looking back and saying, hey, remember when we thought that was awesome, but now we're thinking something else is awesome? You know, we'll have moved on from then. So these kinds of vehicles in the high-end cars will be probably commonplace in five years from now. And I think probably the most likely battery companies to succeed with solid-state batteries won't be Japanese. I actually think they'll be American and Chinese. I don't believe Donut Labs will be one of them, but you never know. I could be wrong on that. By the way, guys, I will have a video on Donut Labs claims. I've actually gone through them and looked at them and analyzed them in detail. And I believe, now I believe firmly that they are fake. Firmly believe that. And I'll make a video on why that is. But Cherry, well, that's another story. I believe Cherry are being open and transparent. And I think that um, this will happen. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.